Hello, hello, hello. Do we have audio? I think we do. I was playing around with it before we started. Who do I see over on Twitch? I can see Marty. I can see G uh, Lynn Mills, Just Linda, Harry's Nan, Lord Trukes, 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 Trukes. Apologies. Spell it phonetically, I'll try to remember. <laughs> I see Teague Benny, Sharky Lou, Unbelievable Coins, uh, Bravo. Uh, da, 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 da. Hello, Harry's Nan. Over on YouTube, I can see Coins and More UK, Wayne Symes, uh, Stuart H, Laughter, Robert Roberts, Cheryl M, Coins and More UK, um, Grossy Coin Hunt, Denise Haynes, Tez Hall, Angel Wings, Richard Harmon, Wayne Symes, Dave Evans, Ian James Matthews, I can't wait to get a mint visit in and meeting you all you guys when social distancing becomes a thing of the past. You and me both, I can't wait. Um, Stephen Keeley Coins, Adam Boots, Patrick Woods, Luke, James E. B. Hoy Coins, Wendy Fletcher, uh, Caleb B. Greetings from smoky Washington State. Smoky? How come it's smoky? There are some fires in the US at the moment, aren't there? Hopefully uh, not affecting your, your good self. Uh, John Saunders, uh, 50p man. Uh, Nache, uh, Stuart H again, uh, Harrison's Coins, <laughs> but hello, 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 I hope you all had fantastic weeks and a good weekend, um, we're on the downward slope to Monday again I'm afraid, <laughs> it happens every time I live stream, doesn't it? Unbelievable stuff. It's not even a bank holiday weekend. It's outrageous. We should do, we should we should pick it. We should um pick it about it. Harrison Cook says, "Have I got your 10p design?" I very well might have. I think I do. I think I do. Should we have a look at the redesigns then? We're on the letter R this week. Most people are on the letter R. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go over to this screen. So, we have a whole host of awesome designs. There's two pages. Two of them were massive and I couldn't fit them on the first page. We've got Arthur Rabbit as number one. Number two is uh, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. We then have Rainbow, the Royal Mail. Robin Reliant. We then have Robert Roberts, a frequent viewer. Not submitted by Robert Roberts, I hasten to add. That was submitted by somebody else. Uh, number seven is uh, A Ring of Roses. We then have Rupert, Rupert the Bear. We then have Running, we then have Rice Krispies, Rupert Grint, then we have a t in number 12, uh, Retro Shirts. Uh, Christopher Collects Retro Shirts. Uh, the second page, we've got two more designs. We've got the Rugby World Cup and we've got RPG. So we'll flip over to this screen so it should cycle between the two. I'm going to grab my design. One moment. Right, I'm back. I had to go hunting for it. So, points if you can guess what I did. Is that in shot? Is that in shot? It is. Points if you can guess what on earth that is. It's one of the worst ones I've done. I, must, I hasten to add. I'll try and get it centralised. Ah, oh, Lynn Mills. Unbelievable coins. Well done to them. Mark a day's got it. Half a really cheesy. Ah, Jane Caldecott, Robert Roberts, Cheryl M, Stephen Keeley Coins. It is rhubarb and custard. My dad's favourite kid show. <laughs> I couldn't think of something. I couldn't think of anything. Um, and at the last moment, I came up with rhubarb and custard. But yeah, some awesome, awesome designs. Uh, as ever, you'll be able to vote for your favourite redesign after the first break when I go wash my hands because coins are disgusting. Um, and you can... What was I going to say? Oh, with next week's submission. Q-R-S. S for Sierra. Currently Stonehenge. Pick something you want to redesign the letter S with. It doesn't. It, ideally something British. Doesn't have to be, though. If it's fun, go for it. Um, but yes, we've got a whole bunch of designs. For those that are just tuning in, the R for Robert Roberts was not submitted by Robert Roberts. Um, <laughs> it was very good. Cheesy as in the smile. I hope you're not winding me up about my smile, Mr. Grossy. We'll have words later. <laughs> but there we go. Lots of people already picking what their favourite design is. But uh, yes, as I said, you'll be able to vote for your favourite one after the first break. So be sure um, 
to stay tuned for that. But what's number 12? T number 12 is Arthur Retro Shirts. <laughs> Someone decided the, to put me on it as a retro shirt design. Spagball, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Harrison likes number 12. <laughs> don't know what talking, don't know what you're all talking about. And I've also got my um my my special mug from a, a very a very kind Katie Jones coins. Christopher, I find your fat your your fac. I find your lack of caffeine disturbing. Hopefully it will bring some luck. It's a reliant Robin, not Robin Reliant. Okay, my apologies. Reliant Robin. <laughs> Uh, look, all these people picking their favourites. You'll be able to vote very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Lucky token, says John Saunders. Good point. Lucky token. Lucky token. Uh -huh. there. It is number 188. Available at www.christophercollects.co.uk and all good pharmacies. What's number seven? Number seven is a ring of roses. Roses in a ring. A ring of roses. Whatever you would like to call it. But it's quite pretty. I think it's quite pretty. Hello to Eurocoin Roll Hunting. Uh, Christopher Clex, how are you? I've done I, I've, I've done a deal this week for a 2009 Q for £115. Well, happy. That's a pretty good price. That is a pretty good price. Definitely. I've seen characters on Christopher's design are really, really smiley. That's rhubarb and custard for you, though. Uh, what's number seven? Oh, I've, done, I've covered that. Next week, we'll all be Star Wars related. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Very well, maybe. RPG forever. <laughs> yeah, RPG was a little bit on the... Um, that was... Um, it almost got cut. But um, it's fine. It's fine. Release the stamps. We're not releasing the stamps. I released the stamps on a uh, PO Box video and nobody was interested. The worst performing video in a long time. Um, Christopher's website, twinned with disasterzonepicks.com. <laughs> Roland the Rat, that's a good one. That's a very good one. But yeah, make sure you get your designs submitted to me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord uh, by midnight on Saturday. If it comes after midnight Saturday, it will not be entered uh, because I need time to be able to plug them all together. Katie Jones Quinn says her laptop is testing me. I was just saying I've got one of you. I've got your mug, Katie. So thank you for that. Um, when you'll be getting the sign working, um, I need to get some sort of power pack and I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, so I can just plug it in and then it can be flashing in the background. I found a Malta 2 Euros from 2015. Awesome. I would imagine they'd be low minted, wouldn't they? Mal Maltese ones, because Malta's not that big of a, a place, is it? Any news on the Winnie the Pooh 50Ps, please? Uh, not to my knowledge, but I have got merch coming for that. Um, riding off the back of that release, so stay tuned for that too. Nothing more will be said on that on that matter, other than stay tuned. A hundred people are watching. Holy Toledo, thank you very very much. And we've got thirteen people over on Twitch. That's very very kind of you. Um, we'll be get started in a couple more moments, but we've got a full hunt today. We have got um, ten peas, fifty p, two bags of ten peas, two bags of fifty peas, and a bag of two pound coins. Back to usual programming as usual. Uh, it worked out quite well, um, not having the extra bag last week, weekend. I was a bit shattered. And then following on from me, uh, you have Bungle Collects Coins doing a live video. So we'll be heading on over to Bungle after I have finished. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm sure Bungle will join us uh, at some point. Two dislikes, unbelievable. <laughs> um... James Woodley says, I completed my 50p coin collection today apart from Kew Gardens. They're, they're still out there. I'm sure they're still out there. We will find some on my channel. I'm sure of it. I have every faith at some point one will turn up. What's number 14? Number 14 is RPG. Uh, the clue is the big R, P and G in the design. <laughs> Did my 10.6 mile run and raised 700 pounds for charity. Time for a beer, says Jono LUFC. Well done, Jono. A big, I'm sure everyone will join me in a round of applause for Jono for his um 10.6 mile run. Wait, raising 700 pounds. Whoops, crash bang one up for charity. Very, very well done. Five hour and 20 minute marathon last Sunday. Oh, Bungle went, went kept on going to the to the wee small hours, didn't he? 
Very, very impressive. What did I do? I did uh, rhubarb and custard. Uh, one of the worst designs that I've done. But people recognise them, which is all that matters. <laughs> what a night, followed by... Uh, uh, followed by Bungle the Great. Well, we're going to get some amazing coins. We're going to make sure that Team Cathedral loses, and then I'm going to hand over to Bungle to try and um, to try and compete. <laughs> I have PE three times. Oh, is that is this your new your new school timetable? It's six o'clock. We need to get started. We need to get rocking and rolling. Right. Thank you for keeping the time, Edward Evans. We're going to start, as usual, with 10 pieces. Oh, a new badge as well. New badge on the Fez. It's another Bihoy badge. And those of you that watch Bungle's videos, some of you might, uh, might recognise uh, that badge. He said looked a little bit like me. So I thought, let's put that one on the 10p, on the 10p hat. And I've got the one that looks like Bungle on one of my other hats as well. So I will show you that in due course. Jono is over on YouTube today. Very cool. Welcome back. To, welcome to the YouTube stream. Do you have all the coins to hunt today? I do. Full hunt today. Back to usual programming. Right. Oh dear, I haven't got much space. What's going on here? I have not organised this particularly well. Professional streams as ever from Christopher Collects. Christopher in his kilt defo. Not going to happen. Team Tower are going to win. We're going to blow you guys out of the water, Team Cathedral. Right then. So we have got uh, 2018's Alphabet 10 P's. We're missing the letters A, the letter D. The letter K, the letter H, the letter O, and then we're done. We are done, Zay. Complete, Zay. Almost. One, two, three, four, five to go. Five coins left. Five coins left. Look how beautiful and purple that looks right now. Courtesy of Lady M at the Bungle Magic Studios, the the Technicolor Dream Metal. Uh, we we for for, blah, 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 blah. for 2019 we've got the letters E F G. H, I, J or J, K or Kai, L or Lai, uh, O, or just A, uh, T or Tai, V or Vi, X or Xi, depending on your on your bent. So <laughs> let's get into some ten Ps and watch the towel change colour magically. But what's everyone else's star find or star purchase this week? What's the best thing you found or bought this this uh, this week? In terms of coins, obviously. Uh, we don't all want to know about uh, a nice packet of grapes that you bought down the, down the supermarket. Speaking of grapes, I've got something to say about, to ask about grapes as well. But we'll, we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, Christopher, you're cracking up. It's been known to happen. Our first find is a jersey. 10p, 2014. Very nice. At least you found something. It's not going to be a bust. But I want to see what your star finds and purchases are. The second bond says Richard Harmon. Very nice. When's the next Wish video? I haven't ordered them yet. Uh, I'm due to order them very, very soon. But I'm looking forward to it because they're great fun to record. And you guys seem to like them as well. Uh, Z York says bought 1,000 US wheat cents. Hoping for some older ones. Very nice. Very cool. No new coins for Phil. Well, hopefully this week will be your week for new coins then. Away, come back. Behave. But my James Bond coin came got to me very, very early. I was very impressed. Uh, they were on pre-order, so I was expecting a prompt service. But uh, I think that's going to be Tuesday's video. Uh, that Reliance is actually Regal, not Robin. Okay, it's all on art. That's all cool. Falkland Island circulation sets his laughter. Very nice. Olympic Cycling says Northern Coins. I had a gift of a proof set of quarters. Beautiful. Wow, they sound lovely. Uh, I saw a Q Gardens for sale as a car boot, but they were trying to charge £240. Wow, that's, that is that is too much. Starfine probably capture of Gibraltar, so 50 pieces of laughter. Very cool. Uh, hello to Leaky. How am I? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. I've had a, ooh, a very good weekend. And it looks like we are getting some 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 tempy luck in the first bag, at least. This is the uh, Isle of Man Triskelion. Triskelion. We've had a jersey, an Isle of Man. We just need Guernsey now. 
and then we've got the trifecta of the territories if we can stretch to Falklands and Gibraltar they would be very cool as well My star purchase is a Christopher Collects token. It arrived yesterday. Oh, I'm glad it arrived for you, Roger Cup, because yes, unfortunately, I apologise for those of you. There was three orders that fell off my radar that I missed, uh, but they they all went out earlier this week, so they should all be, they should all be up to date again. Uh, but I figured out where they hide some of the orders on this on the app, so shouldn't happen again. It's the three-legged coin. I know. Canadian penny in my work till says Caleb. Be very cool. Olympic triathlon, says Edward Evans. Madness. Eight Olympics in a hunt, Mr. Vihoy Coins. Wowie. Shakespeare Tragedy's Error. Ooh. Very nice. I'm not sure. I haven't, again, I, I haven't hunted through my backlog of Shakespeare's Tragedy to see if I found any of the errors, but I've not found one so far. But uh, it's still early days, isn't it? Early, early days. I wonder if they're being, like, where coins obviously get released... Um, regionally are the error tragedies being found in one part of the country or not don't know um stacy lou says found two island man 10 peas the other week at scarborough on the two p machine so took them put them before my daughter put them back in the machine awesome oh didn't you send me a picture of this i think it wasn't a penny that you found that was beautiful wasn't it edwin evans found olympic triathlon truncates junior i'll to you thank you for tuning in I hope you are doing well. We've got a lot today. We've already found two things. No alphabet tempies, but who knows? Who knows? You can put the Christopher Clex token into the new Mister site. You can. You can because um, I'm sure it was. Was it Euro Coin Roll Hunting? Euro Roll Euro Coin Hunting. I think added it to New Mister. It's so cool that, that, that my token is on New Mister. Stephen Keeley coins found two error. Errors. Errors. Very nice. Uh, Ghost of Shadow Rat. What a name. Ghost of Shadow Rat found a motorcycle 20p from the Isle of Man. Very cool. Uh, Michael Sasha says, Hi Chris, Michael Sasha here, good luck today. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we've had some good luck so far, so hopefully we carry on. Hello to Anna Hendricks. Lots of errors being found around Yorkshire, apparently. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky people. So maybe that's where that batch was released to. So you can't say all the good stuff comes down south. <laughs> It was Euro Coin Roll Hunting that put my token onto New Mister, which I'm very, very grateful for. It's very cool. Very cool. And uh, Caledonian Coins very kindly sent me a video of um, finding me on an Akinator app, which is... <laughs> it's a very, very bizarre. It's, um, yeah, very surreal that my silly little YouTube channel appears on Akinator. There we go. Claim to fame. My moment in, in, the, in the light. Um, oh, my question I was going to ask. So... I went shopping at the, the other day, and they had a a, a, a punnet. A punnet? Is that what it is? A punnet of grapes? And there were cotton candy grapes. I didn't stop long enough to check, but is that like is that just like a type of grape? Or is that grapes that taste like cotton candy, do you think? Because grapes that taste like cotton candy would be pretty awesome. Stephen Keeley was in Durham when he found his error. Awesome. Uh, James B. Hoy Coins. I've got, I've got so many purchases. I... I need to stop. I have issues. <laughs> I know about that. Man, oh man. There have been times where I've had a massive backlog of um, new coins that I want to make videos on. Um, I've got a fair few at the moment, to be fair. Not, it's not coming out of my ears yet. That's a type or brand. Supposedly they taste like cotton candy, but I have tried and it does not. They are a new type of grape. They taste like candy floss. Do they really? Taste like cotton candy. I've tried them. They are funky. They're very sweet. It's grapes that taste like cotton candy. Really? It is then? Man, I should have bought some. I should have bought some. We used to sell them at Sainsbury's. Mmm. Because I thought maybe it was just like a brand or maybe it was just 
a type, but if they actually do taste like cotton candy, man oh man, that would be amazing. Maybe they should do it with more things. They should make health, healthy things that taste like unhealthy things, like um, a banana that tastes like a Big Mac. The Big Mac banana. Man, that'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> what other unhealthy things would you cross with healthy things in order to uh, avoid piling on the pounds? I think we've got another million dollar idea business here. The Christopher Collects Creature Care Clinic serving um, celebrities with... Um, I can't remember the figures now. <laughs> Is Gonzo. Tangerine cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> what shop was it in? Oh no, not Waitress, it was Tesco's. <laughs> That's my local supermarket. So we've got tangerine cigarettes. Christopher lives in the co-op. <laughs> my local, my closest co-op is, is ages away. I don't... I'm, not even sure I know where the local, local co-op is. Chocolate face with fish because fish is disgusting. Imagine that. Tucking into a fish and chips that tastes like chocolate. And the chips you'd have to make taste like um, chocolate and what else? Custard. Custard flavoured chips and chocolate flavoured fish. Apples that taste like chicken chow mein. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? I would like chewing gum to, to taste like pasta. Um... Cinnamon coffee. Mm. Coffee's not that bad for you, is it? Don't say it is. I don't want to know if it is. Just you can keep that to yourselves. <laughs> Brussels sprouts cake. Ooh. Brussels sprouts that taste like cake. I, I like Brussels sprouts though. I'm quite happy with the taste of Brussels sprouts. I know I'm in the in the uh, minority there. Chocolate fruit. Love your coin streams. Thank you, says Daniel. Thank you for tuning in, Daniel. Square sausage flavoured ice lollies. <laughs> Coffee is the elixir of life, says Lord Trukes. Trukes. I'm sorry, I, can't, I have no idea the correct pronunciation of your name, but I definitely agree. Coffee is the elixir of life. You don't want to catch Christopher Clex the wrong side of his first cup of coffee. That's all I want to say. Not a happy person. A few years ago, you could get chocolate-covered sprouts, supposed to make the kids want to eat them. Mm. Two, one, pronunciation was perfect. Lord Trooks, Trooks? Oh, I can't remember how I said it now. Mm. Dope. <laughs> Maybe next time. Broccoli that tastes like chewing gum. By saying you like Brussels sprouts, you've become a mortal enemy. I like Brussels sprouts. It's, it, it, it's upsetting when people cook Brussels sprouts in a way to disguise the flavour of Brussels sprouts so they like fry them in bacon or whatever it is to get rid of the taste of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. It's the only time of year you can, I can, I can actually get them is at Christmas time. Who remembers green ketchup? I do. I remember green ketchup. There, there was a green ketchup released with the launch of Shrek. And... Um, Yes, it, it, it went through you and it was a bit odd. Was, I don't want to paint too um, fine of a picture, but yes. What are we looking for? We are looking for alphabet 10 Ps. Let me finish this handful and I'll show you. So the shields and the lions. The lions, I've got a lion to hand. Come on, there's going to be a lion around here somewhere. There we go. So they are the definitive designs. We don't want them. We've got a couple from Territories, one from Jersey on the left, one from Isle of Man there. Other than that, the ones we really want, every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British minted on it. So you've got E for English breakfast, F for fish and chips, G for Greenwich Mean Time. They're the ones we're after, but they are pretty slim pickings. I think for tuning in, Robin GW, the only vegetable that Jono hates. There we go. Iceland used to sell chocolate carrots when I was a kid. Ooh. Dear, dear. My grandmother used to call parsnips white carrots to get my brother to eat them. Cause my brother was a fussy eater. Because he knew he liked carrots. Team coffee and sprouts, definitely. 
You can get sprouts now. I was looking at them in Asda earlier, really. There we go. Getting quite a few modern ones in this bag. Not the ones we're after. How much are they worth? It depends on what letter. Some letters are more in demand than others. And it sort of it varies month to month as to which one is the top of the um, desirables list. I dream of having fish and chips someday. Never had them in my life. You've never had fish and chips? Wow. Was your brother in the Raw Mint a video? No, it was just, uh, just, just myself from Casa del Collects that went. But there was a whole bunch of coin tubers that came along. Broccoli is trees and cauliflower is white trees. <laughs> Amazing. The Jocko Hills has never had fish and chips either. Wow. Who's the guy doing the Russian dance thing? That was uh, Retsim Relum. He's a moderator on Twitch. He might be about so at some point. Personally, I prefer food tasting like it should. If I want chocolate flavoured, I'll just get some chocolate. Very true. We were trying to think of um, unhealthy things. We would like healthy things to be flavoured so that we can eat that unhealthy thing because we were talking about uh, cotton candy flavoured grapes, which the more I say about it, the more I want to go and buy some. I'm growing crystal lemon cucumbers. They are lemons with a cucumber middle. Wowie. Cucumbers with a lemon middle. But James B. Hoy Cohen says, does he think I'm your brother because of the shirt? Yeah, Mr. B. Hoy had one of my um, crazy live stream shirts. I took it down for him and he wore it. I hope you're wearing it now, Mr. Behoy. Channeling some of that good luck, those cr that crazy shirt luck. We have got Guernsey. We've got a trifecta. We've got the Jersey fruit. We'll call it fruit for now. Uh, 1992. That's a common year. We find a f we found a fair few of them, but they're pretty neat. Nothing else in that bag. Gummy ghost peppers. Oh, too spicy. Too spicy. I watch your videos to help me to get to sleep. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I don't mind. I hope you play a playlist. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm glad that I am of some service to you, even if it is to lead sleep. <laughs> They are a fruit, aren't they, Pocket Poet? That is correct. Hashtag Big Cup. Oh, is this Master Temple here? I love to Master Temple if you are here. The Big Cup, the Big Cup Brigade, is among us. Right, come on. We've got to find an alphabet. We've got a few more bags left. We found a couple of territories, so it's not a total wipeout, but. Um, just one letter. Just one letter. What letter do we think is going to turn up? What letter do we think is going to turn up? Cotton candy, candy grapes were made by horticulturalist David Kane and his team at Bakersfield, California, based fruit breeder International Fruit Genetics. That's a lot, a lot of words together there. A lot of big words all together there. Horticulturalist. California Institute. Oh, second jersey. There we go. We've got predictions. We've got L. It's always L on my channel, isn't it? L B Y A X W O P U. Richard Harmon thinks Z. <laughs> N Y A. 
I was thinking of doing ASMR coin hunting videos. God, this bag's idiot proof. There we go. Got him. Shall we do an edge hunt? So, if you think you know where the Alphabet MP is, shout out your number. If you get it right, you win some points. We all know how you redeem your points now. If I pick your number, let someone else have a go. Harry's Nan's first in was six. Two, four, six. Harry's Nan has found a lion. Um, Rebecca Reed wants 13. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen is a shield. Uh, just Lynn's wants eight, two, four, six, eight. It's a shield. Pokefield wants number 20. We'll cut that number two. We'll cut that number two. Shield. Uh, Quins and more, you can have that one as well. You wanted 22. 20 as well. Robert Roberts wants number five, two, four, five. And Patrick Wood wanted number 11, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. It's a shield. Lord Trux wants 13, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen is a lion. Uh, Daniel wants number 25. We'll call that number seven. Two and five is seven, right? Two, four, six, seven. It's a shield. Um, Ozzy would like number nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. It's shield. Uh, John Rexon Calais wants number seven. So does Master Temple. So does Jordan Cook and Edward Evans. You can all share. Two, four, six, seven. It's a shield. Um... Most people said seven. Jane Stevens wants 17. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 14, 16, 17 is a lion. Danger Engage wants negative one. That's going to be, if that's number one, that's zero. So this is a negative one, yeah? Shield. Stephen Keeley Coins wants 13. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 is a lion. Bev Davidson wants eight. Two, four, six, eight. And that'd be... A lion. Um, Jane, uh, Jane Stevens wants 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. It's a shield. Ian James Matthews wants 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Shield. Olivia Rules wants 6, 2, 4, 6. Shield. Roger O'Neill wants 3, 2, 3. There we go. Pocket Poet wants 9, 2, Four, six, eight, nine. It's a shield. Uh, Darren Cheshire wants lucky Christopher Fez pick, please. Mm, we're going for this one here. It's a shield. Uh, Collie House wants number five, two, four, five. It's a jersey. Points to Collie House. So, for those of you who don't know, your points are redeemable by ripping the top of your television set off and send it to, sending it to Bungle Collect's P.O. Box. So be sure to go and do that. Um, a person whose name is all symbols is number six. Once number six, two, four, six. It's a shield. Uh, Catherine Hamilton wants five, two, four, five. It's a shield. Um... Who haven't we heard from? Andrew Watson wants nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Is a shield. Anna Hendricks says twelve will be a K. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Is a line. Close but no cigar. Tess Hall wants eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Is a line. Tosha McBosha wants nine, two, four, six, eight. Nine is a lion. Nikita wants 17. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 17 is a shield. Uh, Pete Jennings wants 2. 1, 2 is a shield. Dog Bomb wants number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a lion. Uh, John Greer wants number 2. It's a shield. TTV Shadows wants three. One, two, three is a lion. RJ wants 11. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. It's a shield. Uh, Angel Wings wants number three. One, two, three is a shield. Iggy Cooper wants 12. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That is a shield. 
Edward Evans wants 29. 2 and 9 is 11, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 is a shield. Second from left is Mackenzie. Second from left is a lion. Mason would like number one. Number one is a shield. Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Jane Caldercott wants six, two, four, six. It's a shield. Uh, Woodsy wants number nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Is a shield. Gray number two says mark a day. It is a lion. Mr. Bar Zinger. Bar Zinger. <laughs> four, two, four. Sh uh, uh, lion. Shlion. These letters don't exist. They're here somewhere. They're here somewhere. Uh, the last one left will be a K. The last one on the left will be a K. No, sadly not. Um, Master Temple wants a high five. One, two, three, four, five. I've got to get it high then. I've got to get it high. Uh, nope. Not quite. Adam Khan wants number three. One, two, three is a shield. Cheryl M wants number four. One, two, three, four is a lion. Uh... Nikita wants number four. That's on the end. It's a shield. We've got three left. We've got three left. We've got three left. One, two, and three. Fastest fingers first. Fastest fingers first. Dog bomb wants number one. It's a shield. Denise Haynes says four. One, two, three, four. Lion, which leaves the rest of us. Hang about. Oh my goodness, we found it. A... <laughs> How mental is that? <laughs> that's amazing I found one of the 10 P hunts not long ago and we've just done it again holy Toledo it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not quite perfect that's so bizarre isn't it that's the second one I found <laughs> madness absolute madness that threw me for a moment there Wowee. Well, we didn't find an alphabet so far, but um, that's a, that's a, one heck of a coin. Two different years, 2002 and 2000. Very odd. Very, very odd. Very well spotted, bravo. And quoting as well. Have you been to the magic shop again? <laughs> so this, uh, to the best of my knowledge, it'll be, um, best of my knowledge and understanding, it will be a replica made for magicians or tricksters in fact it sounds I'm just uh so that's the thing about it that's two genuine coins that is the magic coin bizarre stuff how bizarre is that very very cool hold the edge and tap it against your hand Is there a seam somewhere? Not that I can see. So apparently if I put it into a cup and rattle it around, it'll open. But I tried that with the other one on Discord the other night and it doesn't work. It just makes a hell of a noise. Two-headed. Uh, Two-head coin. Holy Toledo. I know. That's very, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's not put it in the cup again, says Pocket Poet. <laughs> Wowie, wowzers. First one I found on live stream. Wowie. Who said the last one would be a K? I'm going to give honorary points to whoever said the last one, the one le um, the, the last one left, would be a K. That's honorary points because that's near as near as damn it to um being a very rare find. Hi, it's Jasmine Dar Darcy Cox. It's my birthday tomorrow. I will be 12. Uh, so I'm sure everyone in the chat will join me in wishing Jasmine a very, very happy uh, 12th birthday. I'm sure everyone, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you, will wish Jasmine a very, very happy birthday. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you've got some nice stuff planned. Birthday cake. Or birthday cake, birthday cake flavored grapes, maybe. Just have cake. Just have cake. Uh, 
but thank you all for uh, joining me and wishing Jasmine a happy birthday. I'm sure she'll have a fantastic day. Oh, to be 12 again. <laughs> You can reverse those numbers and add a bit on. <laughs> he is fine. He made an appearance in Bungle's Letter P for Post box video fairly recently. He's taken his tinder. Oh yeah, coin cupboard, yes. He's just having a break. I'm sure he'll be back at some point. But he's doing fine. We still, uh, I and the other coin tubers still chat to him fairly regularly. Having renovations done on the cupboard. He's adding an adding an ensuite. Have you ever tried candy floss grapes? We were talking about that earlier. I saw them in Tesco's the other day, and um, I, I, I whizzed past them and didn't didn't stop to to, to grab or, or try them. But the next time I see them, I'm definitely going to have a try. Hello to Mr. Bungle Collects. Bungle, look what we found. Look what we found. Isn't this cool, Bungle? Oh, you need to show the other side. <laughs> there we go. But yes, as we've said, Bungle will be live after my live stream. I'm sure we'll get links to it. So after you're done with watching my coin hunt, we're all going to go over to Bungle and watch Bungle for a bit. So we're going to set the bar high tonight. We're going to get some amazing finds. Team Cathedral is going to lose by a country mile. And then we'll hand over to Bungle to pick up the pieces. <laughs> uh, Christopher, a Carolina Reaper Pepper lo Lollipop. Um, I, would never, I would never do that. Not, not in a month of Sundays. No chance. <laughs> oh, Bungle. <laughs> Hello, 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 says Kaylee. Two pounds this week. Yes, we've got two pounds this week. Coin cupboard will, will return as coin fitted wardrobe sweets. Exactly. Who knows? Uh, Bungle S was a good... Bungles was a good find that week. Oh, man, oh, man. What a moment that was. I was in bed. Getting ready to go to sleep and someone messaged me to say what he found. And I rewound and had a look. And yes, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Welcome to the club, Bungle. <laughs> Another great shirt, says Matt B. Thank you very, very much. Just finished work. 5.33am in New Zealand. Holy Toledo. I wonder what he does for work. That finishes at 5:33 a.m. Maybe he is a bodyguard, or um, um, an owl inspector, moth collector, a fish, uh, a professional moth collector. It's 1:34 a.m. in the Philippines. Holy Toledo! You're going to get a Q, a puddle duck, and a football. I said the last word would be a K, and it was special, so good luck. Anna, 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 Anna. Um, a thousand thanks to you. If this, ha if that happens, holy Toledo. We've got, we will have a new sage of the, of the, of the coin tuber verse. Uh, Dog Bomb is an amateur moth collector. I see. You think about turning professional? Entering competitions? Cat burglar. <laughs> That's the shirt I painted. It is. Master Temple's Treasures did paint this shirt. Um, on one of his videos. It was a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And if you haven't seen Master Temple's latest video, it is outstanding. Absolutely. Not only is it, is it an amazing product, the video is just superb. You have to go over. If we weren't raiding Bungle's live stream, I would link to Dan's video because that was amazing. I will keep the the, the blah, 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 blah. I will keep the th the safe. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me get a bit more coffee down me. 
I will keep the faith my unicorn told me. There we go. Keeping the faith. Not the faith. Your account has been updated by 10 pence, courtesy of royalties from Christopher Collects. Well, I get some royalties back for that because your coin tuberverse is built on the on the, on the the shoulders of my coin tuber. So you get your 10p and then 10% um, of that comes back to me. Um, so, yes. And then after tax, after deductibles, after um, um, ground rent. Hello to Lady N, thank you for tuning in. You should start a coin podcast once a month or something. I used to in the past, but it, it, it was like, it was never really that successful of a video, which doesn't really norm, it doesn't phase me normally, but it was the amount of time and effort that went into, because it's an hour's worth of recording normally, and then it was hours worth of editing. Um, so when I'm investing that much time into it, I want it to be uh, more successful than it was. It's something I could try again in the future, but... Um, uh, who knows? One pence has been returned to Christopher Clex for legal reasons. Exactly. There we go. There was a set coin pig on you. But we have got a whole, a whole host heap, heap of hosts, hope of heasts, uh, jerseys. Very nice. We've got the Triskelion, little three-legged thing. We've got uh, a fruit available at all good supermarkets, and the star find is the double-headed magic coin that sounds very hollow, which is odd. I want to see how it opens, but I can't. I couldn't open the other one. For love of money, I couldn't open it. But there we go. A whole host of finds. Master Temple's treasures. I do feel you need some more hammers. Great palm strike. Stay well, fella. <laughs> Every time I see a pigeon now, I think of you. What have you done to my brain? <laughs> Do I wear the fez in bed? Um, um, why? Is, is, would that be a deal breaker? <laughs> right. Uh, what's happening with, with the penny hunts? Uh, they'll be back on track. I've already recorded a hundred pounds out of the four hundred pound backlog. Um, so I've got another three hundred pounds worth of pennies to hunt through, and then it's going to be a massive re-update to the video. I just felt like I needed a bit of a pause um, recording them because they um, they're not the most exciting hunts to do but uh, they will be back up and ready soon in the next couple of weeks i reckon i think the next week or two i might already have videos already planned and scheduled but i'm sure that um in the coming weeks a updated penny hunt video is going out it's gonna be a massive one 400 pounds worth of pennies to hunt through which is madness but i'm gonna go wash my hands i'll leave you on a view of all the alphabet 10p redesigns um then when i come back i'll set up the poll so you can vote for it you can't vote yet um for those new reviewers, the Robert Roberts one was submitted by someone that is not Robert Roberts. Um, I just thought I'd make mention of that. But I'm going to be back in a moment. Right, we're back. I'm going to set up the poll so you can go vote for your favourite diddly-dees. 
straw poll. Let's go, 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 create a poll. Fave, oh, no, fabulous. Favorites are redesign. Christopher collects. How many have you got? 14. One. Eight. Fourteen. There we go. Copy that. Let's go onto YouTube. Where's my live stream? There it is. Whoops. And then over to Twitch. Can I beat them? Can I beat them? How's that? First one in with the link. Amazing. So be sure to go over. Moderators, if you can copy that link and repaste it throughout the live stream, that would be much appreciative of it. Um, Holy Toledo, Jono LUFC has become a Toledonian. Thank you very, very much, Jono. Welcome to Team Toledonian. <laughs> Uh, number 12 is retro shirt. So we've got, let's, let me just go back over to this view here. We have got 1 through 12, Rabbit, Robert Plant, Rainbow, Royal Mail, Reliant Robin. I think it was Reliant Robin. Robert Roberts, not submitted by Robert Roberts. Uh, Ring of Roses, Rupert the Bear, Running, Rice Krispies, Rupert Grint, Retro T-Shirts. Rugby World Cup and RPG. So you can all go click the link and all vote now. Pocket Poets, thank you very much, Pocket Poets, for being dumb earlier. Um, would you like me to explain what happened, Pocket Poet? Are we keeping that hush hush? <laughs> thank you, Christopher, for getting me over 100 sub mark. Time to sort out a giveaway, says Bo Selectors Coins. Awesome. Do you wear the feds in the shower, Christopher Collects? If that helps you sleep at night, of course. Pocket Poe wants to keep it hush hush. Okay, we won't share. We won't share with the group. Oh no, I can explain. Okay, so so when I was pulling off all of the redesigns to put them together in the collage of wonderfulness that they are, um, I got to Pocket Poets and it was she'd sent something that began with a with a U. And oh, that's pretty. Carried on picking off things. I thought. Wait a minute, was that the redesign? Because I'd already picked up a whole bunch with the letter R on it. <laughs> B-Hoy's paying for it. Um, um, so yeah, and then I thought, I went back and said, oh, is that your redesign? He said, oh, yeah, well, yes, it is. And I was sort of like, but it's the letter R. She said, but last week was Q. I was like, L-M-N-O-P-Q-R. So yes, Pocket Poet thought that you came after Q. Um, and for a moment, so did I. <laughs> What was my design? I did rhubarb and custard. Very poorly. But at least mine began with the letter R, so. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Malteser, anyone? Oh, yes, please. Holy Toledo. Hand over. Hand over the chocolates. Yeah, Pocket Poet had a dumb moment. There we go. We all have them from time to time. Um, unfortunately, a lot of my dumb moments get caught live on my live stream. So, yes. And she writes literature. 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 Right then, how is the poll going? Let's have a quick look-see. Uh, I need to vote for something. Mm. Right then, in first place we have number four, which is the Royal Mail with 12 votes. Number eight is in second place with eight votes. Number eight is Rupert the Bear. And in third place, we have number five, which is the Reliant Robin, the Robin Reliant, something, something can't begin with an R. Uh, <laughs> that funny, I got told off. Holy Toledo, Robert Roberts, thank you very, very much for your super chat too. 
Um, but yeah, get you the, the poll is live. Go and vote. You'll have until the end of the live stream to vote. So be sure to vote before we come to an end. Um, right, a bit more coffee. And we're going to go back to the hunt. 50p's then. Holy Toledo, what luck we are having with our 50p's. This is, we've had a bonanza. Oh, we are missing a Q Gardens. One of these days. One of these days. We are missing Olympics, Aquatics, Equestrian, Football, uh, Judo, Sailing, Shooting, Tennis, Wheelchair, Rugby, and Wrestling. Oh, he's missing wrestling on this book. We don't get stuck on that again, ever. Sir Isaac Newton, Taylor of Gloucester. We got all the other ones, so who knows how many we may add to the book today. It's Jesse Smells a Q. Very good. That would be amazing. That's a cracking mug. Thank you, Katie. Is it possible to vote at the last second of the stream? It is, but why? Why wait to the end? <laughs> if you know what your favourite is, go vote. So Britannia's are looking for the year 2008. Shields were looking for 2009, 10, 11. 12, 16, 18, maybe 20, but also 2017, which is a lower minted year. Uh, our first commemorative is Benjamin Bunny, Benjamin Binny, Rodney Rabbit. He goes by many names to Zar Benjamin. Very, very common. Almost as common as Bung Bungle's errors. <laughs> we love Bungle, we love Bungle. I've just been marking on that one. Very odd. I thought it was going to be R for redesign. Oh, that's a good that's a good idea, isn't it? What was my design? Mine was rhubarb and custard. Very, very poorly drawn, I must admit. I didn't do particularly well on that. But I'm no artist. I leave that to the professionals. Representation of the People Act, very common, but it's a design I really like. Change the fez. Oh no. Yes. Let me just finish this handful. That's why we're not finding anything, obviously. Wrong fez. Wrong fez alert. So the the uh, 50p fez. We've still got. I've got my to my um total coins pin badge. I've got my Bihoy the Lockless Monster, and I've got this um Boongli co collects coins. Boongli collects coins on the YouTube's apparently is Boongli. My um my uh, professional fee will be invoiced to Bungli. <laughs> if my mates know I collected coins, I would get laughed at right and centre. Oh, I don't see why. Everyone's got their own little quirks, their own little. Uh, what that's what makes us ooh different. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? As long as it don't smell Sambuca. Bingo collects. <laughs> we love Bungo. Commonwealth Games says Wayne Simes. If this is Commonwealth Games, man oh man. I think it's going to be Battle of Hastings. 63k says Laughter. Any advances? 63k. There we go. I'll be, I'm off to the Caribbean with my £63,000. Courtesy of laughter. Oh, there we go. One for the book. The Tailor of Gloucester. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Oops. At least one for the book. Hopefully, we'll find some more for the book as well. We've had some very good luck on the 50Ps recently on the live stream. We haven't even been doing this book for very long, and we've already got a whole bunch of very nice coins for it. Ah, oh, there we go. 1-0. 1-0. <laughs> Cathedral versus Tower. Those of you that are members over on YouTube, you can use your Team Cathedral and Team Tower emojis to signify um, who you support, what team you're on. Go Team Tower. 
Master Temple's first in with his Team Cathedral emojis. Can I ask you a question, Christopher? Of course you can. I will endeavour to reply, to answer it. Greetings from the Netherlands, says Robert. Hola to you. Well, what's uh, Dutch for hello? Is it just hello? I don't know. We've got uh, Victoria Cross, the heroic acts. Acts. Not the axe. Not the axe. <laughs> That's Katie Jones Coins with the Team Tower emojis. Hello, Christopher. Started on my third 50p album on Tuesday with Olympic football and fans Isaac Newton coins and nine other 50ps, keeping with Team Tower. Definitely. Bungalow sweating now we saw that. Hashtag Team Tower. <laughs> Went under the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol. Mad that. Mm. Uh, nice. I lived in Gloucester. Yourself and the coin tubers need to go to the Beatrix Potter shop by the cathedral. It's where she wrote the books. You'd love it. That sounds good. Hi equals hello. There we go. Hello to Robert in the Netherlands. Nothing else in that book. Be on the lookout for the Bungle Collect stickers on the two pound coins in your change. Exactly. These are boongly, boongly stickers. They're out and about. They are out and about. Was it asked a question? It was asking me if they could ask a question. Was that, was that your was your question? Can you ask me a question? Was that your question? London box. I get rid of all my fifty coins. Would you like them? Uh, I'm okay. I've got loads of coins. But thank you for offering. Thank you for thinking of me. Yes, they are the Boongly collects. Um, Stickers on the on the two pound coins. Bungle wouldn't deface a coin. We're only, we're only kidding. We're only kidding. We're only kidding. Before you get pitchforks out, we're only kidding. Bungle is a good friend. A up is hello. <laughs> Any other ways you want to say hello? There we go, two dill, two dill. Now we've got now we've got um, a little bit of a little bit of a buffer there, in case we do find one of those scarce scarce towers. <laughs> Katie Jones coins has a bung a, a bungly sticker on her phone. I lost Caledonian coins. Back to work tomorrow. Oh no, Katie Hall is it? Agent Hall is in the room. Co team captain of Team Tower. Al Best is hello in Telford. US Greeks say Yasau. Yasu? There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Come a star is hello in Filipino. There we go. I did not know that. Reet says just Linda. Amazing stuff. There's almost as many ways um, in the UK to say hello as there are abroad so far. For your local colloquialisms. Ro local colloquialisms. Colloquialisms. What a word. I went to Hampton Court Palace and got some Tudor coins. Very nice. Very, very nice. A... A up our kid is the black country way of saying hello. Howdy, says Master Temple's Treasures. All right, my Baba. Oh, Lynn. Oh, who's Linda? Oh, my apologies. Just Linz. Just Linz. Outrageous. Outrageous. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, the Christopher Collects Corporation would like to, uh, to release an official apology to Just Linz. <laughs> We've got um, him, um, Jeremy Fisher, Jeremiah Fisher. Uh, that's a nice one. Beatrix Potter, the anniversaries. That's a nice find. Very, very good. Hello. 
haggis is hello in Scotland, is it? Hmm. Colour me unconvinced. My boongly sticker is on my piggy bank's nose. <laughs> well, Buggy, let's get more of those stickers out. We can all share. My boongly sticker is. <laughs> Amazing. What was that? That's 2014. I thought it might have been 2017. That's 2017, though. It's 2017 Shield. Very nice. That's a keeper. I'm going to pop that over uh, over there. And try not... Oh, there we go. 3-0. 3-0. What a start. What a start. Well, you might as well get your concession speech ready. He's already been to Scotland to get fitted for a kill. That's how much uh, faith he has in his t in team cathedral. <laughs> a up Miduck here in East Midlands brings good luck for finding puddle ducks. There we go. Very, very good. What do you say for good luck for Kew Gardens? It's been a while. I have a spare boongly sticker. I will find somewhere for it to go. No whiskey is hello in Scottish. Bung boongly collages coinage. <laughs> We've got Christopher Ironside there. It's a fairly common one, but I keep him because I'm stupid. <laughs> I have issues. I have issues. It's not my fault. We've got a Paddington. Paddington out of the palace. That's half of all the Paddingtons found. No uh, station and no tower so far. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Our third 2017 Beatrix Potter. We're just missing one now. We are one away from the whole set, and that is Cathedral Number Four. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, Mr. B. Hoy Coins, a super chat of £1.99 and says, I get to write the loser's speech. <laughs> I can't wait to give my victory speech. I cannot wait to write my victory speech. How do equals a Q. Oh, Stephen Keeley, I love it. A little voice in your head tells you. I know. I should stop listening to the little voice in my head. It causes me no end of grief. Hashtag still team cathedral. There's still time. There's still time. If you want to defect, there's still plenty of time. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. Our first of today. Um, let's just shuffle these around a little bit. There we go. We haven't seen many of those Brexit coins, have we now? <laughs> Apparently, those Brexit coins aren't getting about in circulation as much as they'd hope because apparently so there are collectors keeping them. So uh, that's what I've been told. Strange people. Strange, strange people. <laughs> uh, a little voice in my head costs, uh, costs me to remortgage the house. There we go. Unbelievable stuff. Our second helping of pepperonis. Oh dear, that's not very nice. Uh, that Britannia has um, got a bit of stainage. It's just damaged. It's all fine. I think you have most of them, Christopher. Me, 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 me. Hoarding coins? No, never. Not a chance. We've got scouts there. A very pretty design, but it's a common one. I'm back. Fajitas were nice. Amazing. I do remember in school, a friend of mine, they got in a big argument over the pronunciation of fajitas. Because one friend said it was fajitas and the other said, it's, other said it was fajita. Um, and yes, it, it came to fisticuffs, unfortunately. I think someone got pushed in a fountain as well, if I recall correctly. It's definitely fajitas, though. But then again, I don't have the best track record of pronouncing, uh, pronouncing, pr pronouncing things. What a word to mispronounce. Fajitas. That's how you say it, yeah? For Katie. Oh, God. Grossy. <laughs> Behave. Should we do an edge hunt? You had a fountain at school. Oh, no, 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 no. There wasn't a fountain at school. There was on the, on the walk back from school to the bus station. Uh, there is a... Um, 
a housing development called Crown Heights, and there used to be a fountain in the middle there. And I'm sure someone got pushed into it. Over the pronunciation of fajitas. That's what Bosilex coin is eating now. Man, oh man, I like fajitas as well. Uh, Stephen Keeley coins, what's number five? Two, four, five. It's a Britannia. Uh, we also have Edward Evans at number four. One, two, three, four. It's a Britannia. Uh, Lord Trux wants 13. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. It's a shield. Uh, oh, we should probably be checking the dates on these as well, in case you get bonus points. Nothing there. Just Linds wants negative three. So that's one, two, three. It's a shield. 2012. Now it's Sporty Girl wants number seven, two, four, six, seven. It's a Britannia. It's 97. Uh, could I have a seven sided one, please? Seven sided. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that one is 2006. Unfortunately, not. Uh, Patrick Woods. Pocket Poet wants seven, two, four, six, seven. Britannia. Nothing. Um, John Retson Calais wants eight, two, four, six, eight. It's Britannia. Not a key date. Caledonian Coins wants third from back. One, two, three. It's a shield. 2008. Uh, Ruby would like number eight, two, four, six, eight. It's Britannia. Uh, the coin collector wants the Bungali one. T. H E B U N G E L E Y. The Boongly one is Britannia. Can I have a septagonal one like Patrick's, please? Says James B. Hawkins. There you go. I guess that one is, is the closest we're going to get. It is a Britannia, though. Uh, Neem would like. Uh, ne yeah, Neem. Neem? Neve. Neve would like number 22. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 22 it's a shield no points nil par um whatever your favorite number is we're going for number 12 for gabs two four six eight ten twelve britannia uh the coin collector wants number 11 two four six eight ten eleven come here britannia nil par chucky garden wants nine two four six eight nine ninety seven Britannia. Master Temple's Treasures wants number 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Britannia. Nil par. Uh, Mackenzie wants the middle one. Middle one looks like that one. 2006. Britannia. Danger Engage was negative 2. There we go. Britannia. Sad Man 2K wants number 3. 1, 2, 3. It's a shield. It's not a key day, is it? No. Sadly not. Behave. Uh, Paul McQueen wants seven, two, four, six, seven. Britannia. Not a key date. John Greer wants a baker's dozen. That's 13, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh, there we go. Points to... Who wants the baker's dozen? I can't remember now. John Greer. Points to John Greer. As ever, your points are redeemable by ripping off the top of your television set and sending it to Bungle's P.O. Box. Uh, Ashley Sparrowhawk wants 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Britannia. It's a shiny one. So points for being shiny. Um, Janice Pimblet wants 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It is a Britannia. It's 2007. Denise Haynes wants 6. 2, 4, Six. Nice said is a Britannia. Um, Philip Yates on seven, two, four, six, seven. It's a Britannia. Uh, Ches wants four, two, four. It's a Britannia. Harrison's coins wants five. So does Matthew Lenton. You can both share two, four, five. It's a Britannia. Um, RJ wants 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, penultimate coin. Oh, there we go. Number 11, RJ points to you for the Victoria Cross, the, the, uh, the medals. Not the heroic, nothing. <laughs> Ibrahim wants number 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 
It's Britannia. Electric Penguin. What a name. One's eight, two, four, six, eight. Wee. Where you gone? It's a shield. It is not a key date. I never knew you had Twitch. I had a Twitch channel, dude. I've from YouTube. Awesome. Well, thank you for tuning in on Twitch as well. Uh, Steve, a box coins with number five, two, four, five. Five is a Britannia. Um, Keith Cox wants eight. No, he wants six. Eight or six. We'll call out seven in the middle. Two, four, six, seven. Britannia. 2009 equals a Q. We're going to count to 2009. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I reckon this is going to be 2009th coin. <laughs> it's a shield. Uh, Demon Alex, one's number four. One, two, three, four. Is a shield. Um, Chess, one's five. That's the one on the end. It's a dictionary. Points to Chess. Chez, Chez, She. However you want to pronounce it. Olivia always wants the last one. That is uh, Britannia. Uh, Tush McBoosh wants five. One, two, three, four, five. Britannia. What was the year? 98. Kieran wants three. One, two, three. Shield. Not a key date. Leaving us one last coin, which is a shield. That's 90. Uh, two, three, blah, blah, blah. Whatever year that was. <laughs> 2019, I believe. Before my speech system failed catastrophically. Can you say hello to Mitch, please? He watches all your videos. And also, where's Patrick? Well, hello to Mitch. Uh, Patrick, I have no idea. Out and about somewhere, probably. What's happening here? We're hunting through 50Ps looking for commemorative ones. Ideally rare ones. Ideally ones we haven't got for the book already. But we're trying to fill up a book. We've done very, very well the last few weeks with some exceptional, exceptional finds. And who knows? Maybe it saves the day. We can find one of the, that, that special coin that doesn't exist. I want to be one of the people send, that gets to send Bungle a message to say, look what I found, Bungle. Hashtag speech system. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, it wasn't very well calibrated this morning. Ooh, Paralympic, archery, coins to collect. Can you name all five Paralympic 50Ps? Paralympic, Olympic 50Ps. Ah, uh, fair enough. You would like my coffee cup box full of rear coins. Rear coins? Rear coins. Mm, I like that. A lot of coins to collect. Thank you for tuning in. But coins are more UK. Where's he gone? Where's coins are more UK? We need them to list all five Paralympic Olympic 50Ps. That's our first Olympic. Can't grumble at that. Any Olympic is a star find. Have you ever gone kayaking? I have. I was in uh, Scouts as a kid and we went kayaking uh, on a trip thing once a year. Um, not one the most fun pursuit for a coin collecting indoors person, but there we go. You've got to live a little. I've got about 25 Kew Gardens 50Ps. Holy Toledo. Whoa, we. We've got Olympic tennis. Our oh, Matt has disappeared from Coins and More UK. He's scarpered. He's scarpered. Outrageous. But two Olympics. We can't complain about that. I don't know if it's new for the book. I can never remember what's what's new for the book and what's not. Hashtags, Team Scouts, you need a leader like me. There we go. But go on then, who, can, who else can name all five Paralympic Olympic 50Ps? Fastest, fingers first, points available. Points are available. Wow, you are on a roll. I am loving it. That's 2019, that's 2018 for a moment there. That would have been good. That would have been very, very nice. 2017's Peter Rabbit. He can go on the pile. It is one for the book, according to Edward Evans. Amazing. Ticking off another Olympic. 
on the countdown to Q. We have got uh, this one, uh, uh, Victoria across the medals. No one's got all five Paralympics yet. Come on, come on. Quintamore does this to me every week. Archery, table tennis, botcha, wheelchair rugby, and goalball. Points to Master Temple. Uh, Master Temple's treasures, I should say. Gotta go, I need to sort my daughter out. Hopefully, I'll rewatch the rest of your stream. If not, I'll watch on catch up. Happy hunting. Well, Stacey Lou, if you're watching now on catch up with your catch up, I hope you're enjoying. And thank you for tuning in. Unbelievable Coins has got it as well. Uh, James B. Hoy was close, but no cigar. But he does get an honorary glass of vodka for his input. Buckfast flavoured vodka. <laughs> Coins and more UK is coming with the with the answer finally. He had to Google it. But ooh, that's a sticky coin. That's not very nice. In this case, just a Britannia. I'm gonna pop that over here again so I don't have to touch it again. So that was pretty grim. Very, very nasty. G I B. Gibraltar. It'd be nice to find a Gibraltarian coin. Any territory coin is a welcome find in one of my hunts. A couple more cathedrals would go a nice way as well. It's only three four it's only four nil at the moment. Google took ages to load. <laughs> Buckfast flavoured vodka. Now that's a business opportunity. <laughs> We're doing all the flavoured things tonight, aren't we? We've got Benjamin Binney, Rodney Rabbit, whatever you want to call him. He's very, very common. Again, deja vu. There we go. 5 0. <laughs> Fan dabby dozy. That's what we want to see. Go Team Tower. Go Team Tower. Christopher, do you have some Dutch coins and do you collect your foreign coins in books? I have got a fair few Dutch coins, yeah. Um, on my world coin hunts, I used to get loads of them. That's odd, isn't it? Very odd. I'm trying to work out that that's someone has signed it or whether that's um doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like a signature. But it's pretty neat. But yes, uh Dutch coins, I get them in my world coin hunts. So be sure to tune in Saturdays at 5 pm for the world coin hunts. I got some stunning, stunning world coins in today's um a bit of self promo. Today's world coin hunt, courtesy of laughter. Whoops. Courtesy of Unbelievable Coins and um, Sam Dockery. So a big thank you to all three of you for all your lovely, lovely world coins you've sent me or given me. Alana to Craig Burton. Alana is tuned in. Sundays, not Saturdays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I meant. <laughs> I only make the videos. <laughs> I would laugh if Team Tower loses. It's not going to happen. Not even worried. Not even worried. 2017. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? We're just missing Tom Kitten for the whole set. Callie's friend, Tom Kitten. Crash bang wallop. Oh, I was always like that over here. <laughs> Alata Luna and Christopher. Hello. Master Temple is still adamant Team Cathedral is going to win. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Callie thinks it's going to be a kitten. Nashe thinks it's going to be a frog. Master Temple thinks it's going to be a frog. Bonjamin. The token has been on the pineapple gym. A, a gin, not gym. It very well could be. Let's have a look. It is Tom Kitten. There we go. Callie's friend. Tom Kitten makes up the 2017 set in the last bag. And we got Victoria Cross, the heroic acts. Actus. 
We've got a uh, very gross Britannia there. It looks like a 97 though, so we won't worry about that. We've got 2016's Peter Rabbit. That can go with the anniversaries we found earlier. Very nice. And there we go. 6 0. <laughs> Amazing. See, the coin collector who said, I will laugh if Team Tower loses. I will be stunned in awe if Team Tower loses. 6 0. What a result. What a result. And that's it for the for the first bag of 50 bees. Right, you. You need to stay. Stop running away. Uh, new for the book, though. Let's have a glance. 6-0. <laughs> it definitely is, Mr. Behoy. Hi, Christopher. Good. Uh, looking good. Love the shirt. Team Tower all the way, says Gary Beacon. I totally agree, Gary. Totally, totally agree. But thank you. I hope you I'm glad you like the shirts as well. Right, Olympics. Anything new for the book? Archery, we don't need. Tennis, all we do need. So whoever it was that said tennis was a new one for the book, well remembered, because I did not know. That's Juan going in the book. We are one coin closer. We are one coin closer. Oh my goodness, come on, behave. Okay, that's in the book. And I think the Tailor of Gloucester, or as Kali would say, the Notorious T.O.G., is a new one too, which is wonderful. And the great words of Liberace, too much of a too much of a good thing, is wonderful. So there we go. Taylor of Gloucester in the book. Another slot filled. We also added Olympic tennis. Very cool. How many are we short now? Q guns. Plus those three is four. So three, seven, nine, ten. We are ten coins off of filling the the, the um, 50p book. Amazing stuff. This will be book number two. No cues in the first in the first live stream book, sadly. But there we go. Mitch says that he is Team Tower all the way. Definitely go Team Tower. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. I had a chopper bike. Very cool. No mayo on a Sunday night. Dangerous game, huh? <laughs> I think I got half a conversation there. I choose 10 in advance of an edge hunt, says Gandalf. There we go. 10 coins I need for my book on the videos too. I'll race you then, laughter. I'll race you. <laughs> Cheeky plug, come over to my channel. I'm only 19 subscribers off of 100, says Unbelievable Coins. Holy Toledo, Unbelievable Coins is 19 subscribers off of 100 subscribers. I'm sure someone will kindly post a link to Unbelievable Coins' channel. Uh, I'm sure we've got 19 people here that will go and scrub, will go and scrub, scribe, and also subscribe. So go ahead. Again, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm going to leave you on a view of all the lovely letter R redesigns. So be sure to click the link as well to go and vote for your favourite redesign. I'll be back momentarily. And we're back. Right, let me just stack up what I'm keeping and what we're getting rid of. Da, 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 da. Right, Benjamin Bunnies, Benjamin Binnies over there. Ironside, the rest go back into the bag. Those can go over there. 
Right, so we see... Oh, I need some nicotine. Right, so health warning. I vape, you shouldn't vape. If you vape, you will spontaneously combust, so don't do it. A coin collector's journal. Hola to you. Thank you for tuning in. Vote address, please. I'm sure one of my kind moderators... In fact, I might use... Oh, no, I did it on my phone, didn't I? I don't have the link. Uh, moderators, I'm sure we'll post the link for you over on YouTube. Oh dear, I've pressed buttons and now everything's gone funny. Stop it. There we go. Is this the end? No, this is the middle. You have joined. Slap bang in the middle. We've got a bag of £2 coins. We've got a bag of 10 piece and a bag of 50 piece to go. We've got plenty of, as laughter would say, coiny goodness to come. <laughs> Thirteen is Rugby World Cup, apparently. Oh yeah, sorry, the redesigns. Yes, number thirteen is Rugby World Cup. Fez, 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 Fez. Here we go. I put my bungle badge on this one as well. My B Hoy bungle badge on this one, which I'll show you in a moment. What flavour is the vape? Fish and chips? No, it's um. What is it? Crystal mist. Mist as in the fog. Just in case you don't you, to make it very clear. Right then, should we see who's winning? There is still plenty of time to get your votes in though. We have got number four on 15 votes. Number four is the Royal Mail. We have number eight, which is Rupert Bear on 12 votes, only three votes behind. And then in third place, we have number five. Number five is the Robin Reliant, the Reliant Robin Robin, Ryan Reliant, 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 on eight votes. So we go, that's the top three. Plenty of time to get your votes in there. So, my bungle badge, the badge that looks like bungle apparently, according to bungle himself. I'm gonna go and see you up here. There we go. That's the one that looks like Bungle, apparently. Scissors are in the pot, unsurprisingly. Well, it's quite surprisingly, because I normally put them somewhere else. They go walkies quite often. But two pound coins, two pound coins, two pound coins. Um, are in, in a new book, which I haven't grabbed, cleverly. So, what are we looking for? We are looking for everything, because the last time we did a £2 coin hunt, we finished the book. So everything is going new to the book. Now, viewer preference, do we add the new coins as we go, or do we add all, all of them at the end? Your opinion matters, so all vote now. Whilst we're going through them, or at the end. Do you have a Somerset 50p? No, I'm not sure what that is. At the end, at the end. At the end, well, I think most people are saying at the end. Right then, let's see. Oh dear, not a good start. I think most people want to see it done at the end of the hunt. Our first find is the DNA double helix, deoxyribonucleic acid. How's that? I can't say pronounce, but I can say that. I'm not going to risk it for attempted by saying it twice. Holy Toledo. If we, do, if we do as we go, we'll take forever as we have more 10Ps and 50Ps to look, look to. There we go. We'll do it at the end then. We'll do it at the end. Sealed bags. Could be anything in here. Could be. Could be. We want to get a Northern Ireland nice and early, though. We want to get a Northern Ireland in the book, nice and early. I ask you, the, I ask that you say, "Ooh, new coin!" Every time you find a new one, please. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that sounds like a silly thing that I would do. Ooh, new coin! Uh, we've got Florence Nightingale, my favourite circulating two-pound coin. It's a beauty. Ooh, new coin. We've got the abolition of the slave trade. Textured finish, not the smooth finish, unfortunately. That would be a stunning coin to find. 
Actually, you all, yeah, I think, as, as Mr. Behoid has done, I think you all need to join in with me with the ooh, new coin. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Ooh, not a new coin. Abolish slave trade for a second time. <laughs> uh, doesn't save any to the next week until you start the new book. No, definitely not. Are you looking for the 97 necklace too? A necklace, not necklace. What am I on about? No, I'm not. They're very, very common. There's tons of them. Absolutely tons of them. Ooh. Not only new coin, nice coin. <laughs> Navy Centenary. Very, very nice. An awesome coin to have in the in the book on the first hunt of the book. And Trinity Lighthouse. Ooh, new coin. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. Lots of ooh, new coins. Ooh, new coins. Very good. Very, very good. Christopher Clex approves. <laughs> edge hunt. Yes, I'm racking them up ready for an edge hunt. Two bags worth. So it should say, standing on the shoulders of giants for the uh, definitive design technologies. If you can spot anything to the contrary, let me know. We'll have a look to see what we find. Ooh, we're getting lots of ooh, new coins, ooh, new coins. Number 19, that looks like standing on the shoulders of giants to me. Ooh, edge hunt. <laughs> John Saunders is number three. I think you're right there. It says something will turn up, which will be Charles Dickens. Ooh, new coin. <laughs> so, yeah, points to um, Just Lynn for spotting that. And also, oh, everyone that said it. A lot of people saying number three. Remember, remember, that's the guy Forks. Ooh, new coin. <laughs> Chucky Gun says nine, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this would be nine. Uh, sure Shield of Britain. That's going to be a very shiny Navy Centenary, I reckon. Look at that. Beauty. Full flag error. Holy Toledo. We've ticked off the flag error in the first hunt of the book. Unbelievable stuff. Wowee. Uh, tenth down. Uh, I think that's the one we just picked, wasn't it? Yeah. Number four. One, two, three, four. That's Shoulders of Giants. Number 11. Two, four, six, eight. 11. That's Shoulders of Giants. It's worth, I don't. There's a very shiny one in there, but it has just standing on the shoulders of giants. Just Lindsay's off to rip the top of a television set off. Amazing, amazing. Ooh, new flag era. <laughs> Laughter reckons the shiny one. I think that is just a ooh shiny coin. 2015. Number eight, number seven. I think. I think the rest of this is just a bust. Oh. Ooh, new coin. Brunel's Achievements, the Arches at Paddington Station. My apologies if you said that number. You can have retroact re retroactive points. Can't see when you have your thumb over half of them. Oh, my apologies, Lynn Mills. <laughs> my apologies. Professional streams as ever, of course. Of course, naturally. Ooh, bust. Not bust. Ooh. <laughs> oh, whoever has idea that was. Oh man. You remind me of the aliens from Toy Story. <laughs> oh dear dear. This is this is great fun. <laughs> How good would a Commonwealth be? That would be amazing. You can't get better on the two pound coins other than an NIFC. It was Bravo's idea. We can blame Bravo for this. <laughs> Ooh, the claw. <laughs> Ooh, nothing. Ooh, case of the diddlies. Ooh, new coin. Ooh, magnanimity. New one for book. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, where'd you get these shirts? I want some. Oh, I just just uh, rubbishshirts.co.uk. 
Uh, when was the last time... Oh, goodness gracious. When was the last time you found a Commonwealth? The last live stream. We found a Commonwealth Games Scotland, which is the last one we need. Ooh, dropping coins. Ooh, new coin. Ooh. Will it be mule coin? Mule coin. No. Two pound coin. But still, ooh, new coin. Dear, dear. What's wrong with me? What is wrong? Ooh, very nice new coin. The Rio handover. Holy Toledo. What a start. What a start to the book. We have nothing left to find. <laughs> Ooh, 50 pieces, Paul. <laughs> 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 oh dear this is this is this is very good i approve i very much approve interactive live madness are you okay there's help if you need it oh i don't need help look at the coins i found holy toledo it's going great guns shiny coin shiny coin uh Ooh, new coin. Bruno's portrait, very nice. Common, but still. New for the book, which means it's an ooh, Bruno. <laughs> you lots of bonkers. <laughs> I love it. It's great fun. You've got to enjoy the little things. You've got to enjoy the little things in life. 50p in the house. This is correct. There is at least 150p in my house. Ooh, diddly. Ooh, bonkers. <laughs> Can we get an ooh new coin as a ringtone, please? <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Heavens above. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate. <laughs> I approve. Never grow up. Exactly. Exactly. Cent centenaries. 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 Ooh, new coin. Ooh, golden guinea. Magnanimity. Ooh. Uh, our third abolition of slave trade is not the uncirculating one, though. Good evening to Rhett Simrelin. Uh, for those, the, for the person who's asking who was doing the Russian dance, him, him in the chat now, Rhett Simrelin. If you get Florence Nightingale, you have to say "Ooh, matron." <laughs> uh, ooh, too much coffee, probably. There we go. It's all good fun. We're all a little bit weird. That's great, though. Right, edge hunt. Ooh, edge hunt. Please say hello to Towie and Linz. Hello to Towie and Linz. Right, edge hunt. What can you spot? I'm going to try and not cover up anything with my thumbs. I don't want Lynn Mills knocking on my door. <laughs> with Ozzy and Ruby. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, edges. Edge hunt three. Mm, don't think so. I think not. You're going to say, ooh, new coins in your sleep tonight. Probably. <laughs> Seven, two. Oh, no. no, that standing on the shoulders of giants is a bit faint. It could be a fake. No. Just a new, new, newish one. Seven from right. Two, four, six, seven. No. Number four. One, two, three, four. No, that's your shoulders of giants. Six. No, it's a faint shoulder of the giants. I think this might be a bust, you know. Ooh, dead bag. Ooh, diddlies. Yeah, nothing. Nil. No fire. Just a simple case of the diddlies. Is the Sherlock 50p over face value? We don't know until we get mintage figures because, ooh, shiny, ooh, new coin, ooh, Shakespeare, ooh, hollow crown, ooh, no edge error, ooh, <laughs> duplicate, back to back, hollow crown, 
No error. Ooh, make it three in a row. No. <laughs> DNA, double helix. Is that a double O? Is that a double O? Ooh. <laughs> what do you do for a job? Uh, I paint the big H's on top of buildings. Although I think I'll change them to big O's now, just to confuse the, confuse the helicopters. Ooh, ooh, rugby. Ooh, egg chasing. Ooh, new coin for book. Penultimate bag. Why are we talking like Casper the Ghost and having a mental breakdown again? I don't know. <laughs> new coin now costs you £30. Mm. Sign me up. Nothing. We're on to the last bag. This is the last chance for a couple of ooze. I reckon we're going to get some ooze in this bag. <laughs> yes, yeah, so when I said... So the, the painting the H on top of buildings was an absolute coins joke. Um, that's what he said. He reckons I do as a job. Um, and I, I've been telling it ever since because it's amazing. And Grocery Coin don't believe me when I said that. So there we go. Ooh, diddly. Commonwealth incoming defo. Unfortunately not. That would have been great though. Ooh, last bag. <laughs> you are crazy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All the best people are. Though. Right, new coins for the book. Right, Rugby World Cup. We're going to fly through this as quick as possible. Rugby, 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 Rugby is there. It's a bit gross, but it's fine. It's a new one for the book. Oh, behave. Behave. Got him. Uh, DNA. DNA. That's a nicer one. And it is now in the book. Uh, Guy Fawkes. Yep. Going in. Right, Dinner is done. St. Paul's Magnanimity. Ooh, Magnanimity. That's a nicer one. And this is in, oh, almost, there we go, it's in the book. Uh, Brunel's Portrait. Archie Gum. Oh dear. Brunel's Portrait is in the book. Brunel's Achievements. That's a nicer one. In the book. Sort it. Act of Union, we didn't get. Abolition of Slave Trade, we did. Uh, that's in a slightly nicer one. Out of the three we found. Uh, Robert, oh, we didn't get Robert Burns. Charles Darwin, we didn't get Florence Nightingale, ooh, matron, going in the book. <clears throat> I've been convinced to switch to coin flips, but I don't know what to do about my album. See, so, yeah, I like coin flips. Uh, Charles Dickens is going in. Perfecto. Underground Golden Guinea, Golden Guinea we got. Very nice. Golden Guinea going in. Uh, Lord Kitchener is going in. Not as shiny as some of the Kitcheners that we do find. But I'm sure we'll be seeing them. Uh, Trinity House is going in. Uh, da, 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 Navy Centenary Error. Error. Full flag as well. It's quite a stunner. Go in. Uh, Navy Centenary Standard. No error. Going in. Rio handover. I've missed one. 
Beijing, Rio Hando goes there. I'll behave. There we go. And lastly, we have got Shakespeare's histories. What's this? Mm. Histories, histories, histories. It goes down up there. There we go. Some success then. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 to start off the book. That's pretty good going, isn't it? We won't complain about that. Wonderful stuff. A good start to the to the new book. Right, what am I keeping? I'm going to keep that Shakespeare history the rest. Ooh, going back to bank to get more coins. Right. Amazing. Fantastic. That was one of the most odd two pound coin hunts I've ever done. But it's very, very fun. So there we go. Ooh, get your votes in. Your votes count. These albums are not good for long term storage, though. That's true. They're not bad for a few a few years, but longer than that you want to get them in flips really. Or an alternative. If you if you can afford to hermetically seal them in a vacuum, that would be ideal. Master Temple Till Raids make it more interesting in what we find exactly. Master Temple is Master Till Raider. Voting link. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. It's a nice colour book as well. A nice green. Right. Enough of this madness. I'm going to go wash my hands before we start the next bag. I should be back momentarily. Be sure to go get your votes in though. Ooh, washing hands. And we're back. We're here. I haven't put my fez on very well, have I? There we go. Uh, <laughs> how do we vote? You've got to click the link that I'm sure one of the moderators will post and go and vote for your favourite one. So you could swap the coins from the book they're currently in it to a new book or sort of the same doesn't work not work like that uh, it's, it's just the contact with the um, plastic of the of the uh, the uh, books um, will over time seep into the coins do you like carrots sure not as much as Jono though Leeds United number one fan right then a little bit more nicotine before we check the the scores so far That was oddly scary. <laughs> Ooh, oddly scary. I'm never going to stop doing this now. This, this is... <laughs> Do I remember you? Of course I remember you. With a name like that, who could hardly forget? What comic books do you have? I buy uh, sometimes collector books. This one's a Schultz book. They're all much for muchness. What is number two? Uh, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. 
Ooh, crystal mist. Mist like the fog. <laughs> this is going to kill my sanity. Who needs sanity? You've got to be sane from Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Be as insane as you like. Will you stop smoking? I have stopped. I have stopped. I quit cigarettes um, six years ago. It'd be, in fact, it'll be exactly six years next month I quit smoking. Pet peeves, the 10 peas. Are we doing We Are Grateful this week? We're going to do pet peeves. We're going to do pet peeves and pet shout outs. We may even do what we're grateful for as well. Um, but shall we see what the scores on the doors are? Ooh, more, more teasers. <laughs> Man, oh man. So, leading the way is still number four, which is the Royal Mail with 19 votes. Number eight is in second place with 14 votes. Eight is Rupert the Bear. And number five has eight votes, taking third place. Number five is uh, the Reliant Robin Reliant Robin Reliant car. Right, plenty of time to still cast your votes and see what happens. Sane and normal is boring. Agreed. Amen, but I'm insane all the time. Or so the voice inside my head says. There we go. That is Mr. Behoy. Confirming he is always insane. Right, scissors in the pot. It's not even a pot, it's a mug. There we go. Fake news from Christopher Collects. It is not a big cup, though. It is a little cup. I'm starting to collect my 50 p's. Any tips? I need more help. As what Master Temple says, uh, tell your friends, your family, um, that you're collecting coins. They might keep an eye out for you. You never know. They might find you something. A lot of people that will find a commemorative coin and send a picture to me on WhatsApp. People that don't even watch the videos, don't collect coins. They still keep an eye out for me. The star find from friends and family has got to be B for Bond, the 10p. Uh, how have you done searching for the letter 10 P's? Uh, we have got a whole bunch still to get. We haven't found any today, although we did find star find in the first bag of 10 P's was this weird coin. Very, very strange. Magic coin. So we could find some new, some more oddities, which will be well received. What's the most distant country you visited? Probably Canada. West Coast Canada. I think that's probably the furthest I've been from the UK. Right then, shall we do some pet shout outs then? If you want to shout out for your pet, as long as your pet's not called Roger, because we do prejudice against pets called Rogers, I'm afraid, um, feel free and we'll give your pet a shout out. We've got some regular pet viewers to be fair. Always keep an eye out. I told my sister to keep an eye out at work. Now she keeps all the commemoratives that she finds, but keeps them for herself to spy me. <laughs> oh, no. Ozzy and Ruby, the Tibetan Mastiffs. Again, shout out. Regular viewers. Regular viewers. My favourite Tibetan Mastiffs. Marley and Luna. Morgan Wagon Wheel. Bobby the Zat. Kiki the Cat. Double Felix. My dog Solo. Uh, my pet, Pugsley. <laughs> Pip, you're not getting me. Jeez. Ooh, I, I did not just fall out the lemon tree. Diggory the Husky. Doughboy Creek and Branch. Hello from Toulouse, the Maine Coon. Um, Bobby the Cat and Bally the Late Dog. Um, my cat is called Oscar, but he died six months ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Gandalf. He can still have a shout out. Uh, uh, Timmy, HMY Tortoise, uh, Shadow the Staffy, Charlie the Parrot, Flynn the Border Terrier, Chester the Cat, Jaffa, Cake and Crunchy the Three Goldfish, amazing, Hepzibah the Chihuahua, Evie the Jack Russell, uh, any other pets? Oh, we have got Eddie the Collie, we've got Garfield. Uh, 
Any more for any more? Any more for any more? <laughs> Very good, Nashe. <laughs> I got in trouble for making light of him, though, so we're not going to do that again. Where are the cats? Jesse the dog and Nini. Nin, the cat. Uh, Dave the. Goodness gracious. Kikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikir
psychopathic tendencies, which is good to see. Captain American Sky the Cats. When I say my dog attack, he has one. Okay. Eating with your mouth full. Oh, yes. Wait. Oh, yeah, eating. Yeah. Wait, eating with your mouth full? Talking with your mouth full? It's alright to eat with your mouth full. <laughs> so you have 10, I finish work on there, uh, there then on uh, voice chat. Pokey Phil's brother has wound him up. Uh oh. Pet peeved, my alleged fez wearing friend always nominating me for shots. Not my fault. I claim zero responsibility. You maybe do it. <laughs> Pet peeve, stunning toe on table. Stubbing, stubbing the toe on table, not good. Try and pronounce, so that's not a word, that's just, that's just letters. People order Chinese and say they never ordered it. Oh dear. Reversing on country lanes for someone and they don't say thank you. Oh yes, when people don't say thank you, when you, maybe you slow down to let them off of a slip road or you move out, you, you slow down to let them come across because they're in the wrong lane and they don't say thank you. It's like, oh, geez, just a little wave is enough. Or a flash of the hazard lights. Unbelievable stuff. Stepping on a plug, pin side up, ouch. My friend's pet rock, Sally. There we go. Going to boot sale and see the man you pay 50p to get in and think I bet he don't check them. There you go. Standing on a plug last night, had to unplug it from my toes. <laughs> Owie, not nice. Not nice at all. When you hold the door open for someone and they don't say thanks, yes, agreed. When your phone is still in for repair and you have a terrible temporary phone, oh dear. Coming head-to-head -head with a tractor on a single-track road somewhere in Bristol. <laughs> Deary dear. Stepping on Lego. Uh-oh. When cyclists think they have the right of way, especially at roundabouts, they don't give way to the right. Or they skip red lights. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, agreed. You're not supposed to skip red lights. If you're on the road, you follow the traffic lights. I think so, anyway. I'm not... I don't cycle on the roads. I don't cycle full stop, so... I know nothing. The bank's saying they will only take back 10 bags. Well, lots of banks will do that if you only, only if you have a personal account. People who click pens in exams. Oh dear. People who constantly tap you as they talk. Whilst they're talking to you, they're tapping you. How annoying would that be? Good golly. Being asked if I have a business account for taking coins out at the bank. There you go. When did you start YouTube? Uh, my first video went up, it was stamp videos, which no one was interested in, in July of 2017. I made my first coin video in February of 2018. So it would be three years this February. Three years and we're still doing it. We'll keep doing it until we get it right. <laughs> We've got this, the Great Seas, Gibraltarian 10p, uh, 2011. Olympic year. Very nice. Well, in terms of the 50 pieces, it's Olympic year. Uh, people who don't wear masks in shops. I know. I don't know why you wouldn't. Something else I don't like is when you hold door from someone and they weren't going that way. Oh, dear. <laughs> Gracie's trying to persuade people down corridors they don't want to go down. Tottenham losing their first game. Oh dear. When if you get your pin number and the hole in the wall. Uh oh. Tumble dryer breaking down when you have to dry uniforms every day. Oh dear. Holy Toledo. Hashtag free the stamps as pocket boat. Thank you for your super chat. Nobody wants stamp videos though. Nobody wants stamp videos. Opening the door to my cat and he just stands there. Oh dear. I 
I know it's sad. I'm in a bad mood because Spurs lost. Oh dear. How did everyone else's teams do that played? I don't know. I'm not sure who played. Did Leeds? Was, wasn't it Leeds Liverpool? My son Martin has 19 fish. He names some after people in James Bond. Amazing. Arsenal won 3-0 three, three yesterday, says Grossi. Grossi's team won. Liverpool won 4-4. Four, 4-3. Four. Four, God. Bihoy, thank you very much. People who wear jumpers for grannies. What? <laughs> Have you ever tasted strawberry creams by Hill Biscuits? They're made in my hometown of Ashton under Lyne. They sound nice though, but no, I haven't. When a bigger dog tries to get through the cat flap. Oh dear. Factor is off. Thank you, Julian Factor. My mum's cat is on me, pairing and curled. Ah, very cute. Chelsea play tomorrow, but their ladies' teams won 9 0 today. Wow, 9 0. Favourite football team? I don't really support a football team. John O'L UFC, you were lucky to get two, apparently. I don't know. Uh, Tesco's have Christmas stuff left and right, left, right and centre. Already mince pies, Christmas puddings, you name it. Oh, I do like mince pies, though. Who doesn't enjoy mince pie? Nothing else in that bag. Leads, leads, leads. Apparently. Can you support Spurs? We need it. <laughs> oh dear. Warming up the donkey. 16 weeks till Christmas. Oh my goodness. Chiggy to ching. I can't wait. I'm a Spurs fan, says Laughter. The Rangers already got Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff. Halloween's fairly close, though. Halloween's not a million miles away. Ooh. That's a bit battered, isn't it? Ooh, dearie. Mr. Bihoy is also a Spurs fan. When you try to get something, but your parents won't let you. Oh dear. Unless it's machete, then I agree with your parents. Touchscreen keyboards, constantly hitting the wrong letters. Would you like to be a banker again? No, I have my time working in the bank. Not interested. Been there, done that, ticked it off the list. Christopher, can you tell me any more about the dual-sided 10p you found the other week? Well, a bit like this one. A bit like this one that we just found in the first 10p's. Um, was it real or a joke coin? I see you can buy dual-sided 10p's on eBay. Then the year shown the picture is 2014, same year as the coin you found. I think that they're just trick coins or magic coins. Um, that's the first one I've ever found. And then I found this one today, which is mad. Holy Toledo! Is from Batman and Robin TV show. Robin used to say it. There we go. Does that mean the majority of Spanners are Spurs fans? As in the, the moderators? I don't know. I don't know. What football teams does everyone else support? And did you win? Surely it should be legal to make such coins, or is it not? 
And they're not, I don't, I think they have to be not the exact specification to 10 pence. But pretty close. What would you want your role to be in, in a Star Wars timeline? I want to be a part of the Empire. Definitely not a Spurs fan. Super lead, says Master Temple. Rob Roberts is not a Spurs fan. Edward Evans says Bradford City AFC. No, no against Colchester. Apparently the Gooners won 3 0. I don't know who they are. Celtic just won f the 5 0. You were jelly or Sith? I'd be a Sith, 100%. When the wife wants to spend your 50p collection, says Stephen Keeley Coins. Oh dear. Yes, we shall not be doing that. Can't wait to wear Christmas jumpers where I work. Should wear my Christopher Collects ones. I can't wait, yes. I see I've got all my old Christopher Collects jumpers from last year. And my new Christmas Christmas jumpers as well coming in. Baggies, blue and white, through and through. I don't know who the baggies are either. <laughs> Bye, I should spend some time with my wife and kids now. Well, thank you for tuning in. Yes, yeah, so we'll all wear our All I Want for Christmas is Q jumpers on a live stream and we will summon a Q Gardens. Talking about summoning things, there's coins just falling over in the background. Very strange. And they're on the floor. Fantastic. Just restack them. There we go. I got a Jehovah's Witness themed advent calendar this year. I didn't open any of the doors. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. <laughs> How much luck have you had? Uh, it's been pretty good. We had very good luck on the two pound coins. The 10 P's early were very good. This is why we're not getting much luck here. 50 P's were good as well. Does lightning strike twice? Who knows? Wouldn't that be amazing though? I'm surprised my Q Christmas jumper still fits. <laughs> Jaffa cake cheesecake, I must have one. Oh, that sounds amazing. Jaffa cake cheesecake, yes, please. I'm just thinking about that Jaffa Cake Cheesecake. That would be phenomenal. Ooh, Jaffa Cake Cheesecake. Way Behave. Nothing else there. Have you ever been to Ilfracombe? Um, possibly. Is that North Devon, Ilfracombe? I think I might have, you know. It might not be. I might be thinking somewhere else. Jaffa cake cheesecake. Heart attack in a pack. I have two Q Gardens coins. How many do you have? I have two. Uh, one that I found before I started making my videos. And then one I found September 2018. I have pork chop marinating for the grill tonight. Very nice. It is North Devon. Oh, I think I have been there then. Don't clean coins, it devalues them. That it does. I wouldn't recommend cleaning coins either. Either, neither, neither. 
We found much. We've had we've found uh, plenty in the other bags. Just this bag is pretty slow going. We found one Gibraltarian 10p. But it's a cake, a biscuit. What does it mean? Yes, a Jaffa cake cheesecake. Is it a cake? Is it a biscuit? Is it a flan? Is it a tort? A tart? Is it um? Who knows? I bet it tastes good though. Where's the coins from? I get them from my bank. I've got business accounts today, so I can take out and pay in however much I want. It cost me money to do so, but there we go. Uh, I'm sure people spend that kind of money on their hobbies anyway. Someone says Tesco's does them. Wow. Is Bungle live tonight? He is. He'll be live after I'm done. Uh, we're coming to the end. We've got one more bag of 10 pieces to go through, so we'll do that as an edge hunt. And then we'll be on to the 50 peas. The last bag. The last chance saloon. We'll just top it off finding a football. So then hand over to Bungle. Good evening to Panda. I won't say the rest of your name. Do don't they charge for the bags? Yes, so it's, there's a monthly fee and then a transactional fee. Right, picky numbers, any number. Points awarded, points up for grabs. We're handing over to Bungle afterwards as well, so he's he, he trying to get him to cash in. Uh, double He-Man, says three, one, two, three. Double He-Man, you have found a shield. Ooh, Bungle, ooh, last bag. Uh, Gandalf, the, Gandalf wants number zero, which I'm gonna take as a round up to one. It's a lion. Darren Cheshire wants 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 is a shield. If I call your number, just need to let everyone else have a go afterwards. Uh, Harry's Land wants 5, 2, 4, 5. Jonathan Solo wants 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 is a lion. Robert Robert says, ooh, 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, ooh, lion. Uh, Anne Marie Edgar. Wants 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 is a lion. TTV Shadows wants 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Shield. Can I have a circular one with 10p on it? Says Behoy. Uh, ooh, I've got two there. Uh, that's got, it says 10 pence on it, and it is circular. It meets the criteria. Nick Thomas wants the heaviest one. That's going to be the widest one. I reckon that is going to be it. It's shield day. Uh, Jedimins wants number four. One, two, three, four. It's shield. Uh, Just Linz wants negative one. That's a lion. Professor Chum wants 25. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one, two, three, four, five. It's a lion. Uh, Patrick Woods wants a lucky dip. Lucky dip. It's a lion. Lord Trux wants 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Shield. Rack up some more ones. I'm sure we can get the rest of the last of these. Uh, Jane Caldicott wants 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Is a shield. Danger Engaged wants 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Shield. <laughs> Andy O wants ooh, 1, O. Oh. 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Ooh, lion. Why are you guessing numbers? It's just a bit of fun. Uh, Anna Hendricks says 5 is a K. 2, 4, 5. It's a shield. Finley Tate wants 17. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Shield. Edward Evans wants 6. 2, 4, 6. So just these hands. You can share a shield. The person whose name is all symbols. Is that Basil Collect? I don't think it is though. It wants 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Shield. Nashay wants 7 and 4. 2, 4, uh, two, four 5, 6, 7. Considering Nashay uh, is a regular uh, submitter of the letter, letter uh, alphabet redesign. 
Andrew Watson wants number 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Lion. 5 for Aussie. 2, 4, 5. Shield. Uh, Darren Coles wants 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Shield. Master Temple wants 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Lion. Gandalf wants 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's a shield. Way. Panda wants number 6, 2, 4, 6. It is. Come on. It's a shield. Nashe says, my choice. My choice. I'm going to go for the little thin one here. It's a lion. Ransom Relin wants number 4, 2, 4. It's a shield. Timmy Flump wants 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, shield. Sadie Mac wants 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, lion. 50.5, we'll call that 5.5 then, 2, 4, 5 and a half is half of that one. Roger Keyes wants the last one, shield. Roger, uh, Robert Foolen wants 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Shield. Hello, Minty OSRS. Thank you for tuning in. Two is a Q, apparently. Two is a shield. Number 14 says just Stevie. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Back to the front. Two, shield. Uh, 2018 is Q. Well, two plus 18 is 20. Two and two plus O is two, which means two is a Q. Two is a lion. Dead wants number one. It's a lion. Uh, Pocket Poet said nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Shield. Uh, who haven't we heard from? Stephen Kitty Coins. I can't remember if we had you, but we'll go for you. Two, four, six, eight. Shield. Number six for Ruby. Two, four, six. Lion. Minty OSRS wants five. Two, four, five. Lion. Any more for any more, any more for any more, any more for any more. 92, we'll call that, we'll call that uh, 11. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Lion. Uh, Timmy Flump wants number one. It's a shield. Richard Harmon wants number three. That is a shield. We've got one and two left. Who wants one? Who wants number two? Last chance saloon. Last chance to earn some points. God, Timmy Flump can have number one. Shield, leaving the rest of us with a shield. There we go. Holy Toledo, that's all the 10p's done now. We got a little bit of luck. We got a little bit of luck with that one, but we got a lot of luck earlier with this one. Which is a double-headed magician's coin. Very, very cool. Right, we're going to head back out over to the gallery. Of all my lovely letter R redesigns, as ever, you can get your, the next letter is QRS. Get your S redesigns into me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. If it's in by Saturday at midnight, it'll appear on the DBDs, like in this week. So I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, moderators, I'm sure, will post the links to go vote for your favourite one for the letter R.
Oh dear, I was muted. My apologies. I was just prattling on, don't you worry. But this is the last break before we go to um, the results. So be sure to go get your votes in. Ooh, number 12 looks good. <laughs> right, scores on the doors. Number four st stays in the lead for Royal Mail at 22 points. Uh, votes even. Number eight has 16 votes. Number eight is the Rupert the Bear. And number five has got 11 points in third place. Number five is the Reliant Robin, Reliant Robin, Reliant Robin. Who started doing <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Bravo told me. And now he regrets it. It's Bravo's idea and we all did it. <laughs> We're all culpable for that. Oh no, I've got juice everywhere. Nah, good. Fez, good point. Well remembered. Edward Evans and Mr. Barzinga. And is going to make a cup of mine's coffee. Milk, no sugar, please. Thank you. Thank you, advance. Right, we're going to go to the 50 P's then. I'm reliant on you to remember what we need and what we don't need. Favourite pudding? Uh, oh, cheesecake, lemon tart, anything. Man, oh man. You name a dessert, I will eat it. Coming right up, thank you very much. Not too much milk either. Either, 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 neither, neither. Minty OSRS is feeling acute. That would be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be great? Reliant Regal. Robin, Reliantly Regal, Robin. One or the other. Right, we need a nice big cathedral score as well because we're going to be handing over to Bungle Collect after this stream. And, um, ooh, 2008, Britannia is a keeper. Our first find, not commemorative. Still definitive, but it's the lower minted year. Are you going to find a queue in this hunt? Hopefully, wouldn't that be great? It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. Two years almost. In fact, middle of this month, which is almost upon us. Or was it the end of the month? I forget. Anyway. One way or another, it'll be two years this month. Just call it the Rodney Trotter van. There we go. The Rodney Trotter van. Ooh. Ooh, Olympic. Olympic. Ooh, Olympic. What do we reckon? What do we think? Bearing in mind we are handling, handling, handling. We are handing over to Bungle over at Bungle Collects Coins. <laughs> Laughter says Q. <laughs> A 2011 Q. How good would that be? Man. Football. Shield. Fencing. Ooh, 2011. Football, football, tennis. Horse, football, pentathlon, badminton. Goalball, NIFC, hockey, taekwondo, uh, taekwondo, judo, Olympic dancing, football, NIF, NIF, uh, taekwondo, NIFC, wrestling. I have a feeling there's going to be an Isaac Newton coming soon. That would be great. Football, judo, fencing, NIFC, football, judo, gym, judo, fencing, football, archery, archery, wrestling, hockey. Let's have a look then. It's boxing. It's nice. Anyone have boxing? Anyone guess boxing? I, didn't I don't recall saying boxing. But points to you if you said boxing. Very, very nice. Wait, stop it. Stop it. You can't say boxing now, danger. We've already seen it. 20 minutes ago. I will sell you a queue for £10,000. Jeez. Oh, well, that's the one you want to see. We didn't see any of the, these in the first bag. It was like 6 0, wasn't it? So, our first Team Tower. Amazing stuff. Good, good. Ooh, hashtag Team Tower. <laughs> oh, man. People are going to think we're all deranged.
Come on, good luck. Oh, we got Tom Kitten, Callie's friend. 2017. Actually, that does get there, doesn't it? Oh, Victoria Cross, Heroic Acts. Madness. Madness, madness, madness. One nil. It's okay. It's okay. Early doors. Early doors. It was 6 0 last time. 6 0? Was it 7 0? Was it 8 0? I can't remember. I'm, 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 I've got memory recall like Bungle does on his Benjamin Bunny challenge. People think we've got deranged. You are. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit. A tiny bit deranged. But it's good. It's all good. Makes everything a little bit interesting. <laughs> Another one of those. Victoria Cross, Heroic Acts. You don't have to be mad in this live chat, but it helps. Every time you say, ooh, I get looked at. I'm in the car and people think I'm nuts. <laughs> ooh, driving in car. Oh, that's nice. 2016's Peter Rabbit. It's only Tiggy Winkle that's less than face value. This bag. Sadly, not that bag. Or not. <laughs> How cool have they been if you called it, though? Ooh, I want a cue. Alata oh, Kurtz, thank you for tuning in. Just finished my work. Here we go. I'm not crazy, I'm just sanitarily challenged. Sanitarily challenged. Amazing. But after the live stream, we're all heading over to Bungle Collect on Bungle, Bungle Collects Coins. Peter, uh, Peter, uh, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Bunny, Rodney Rabbit. Um, I'll be over on my Discord voice chat, sorting through these coins, looking for the key dates. So if you're if you're over thirteen and you want to head over to Discord, links somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Nothing there. The rarest coin I have is Jemima Puddle Duck. That's a nice coin to have though. Very well done. What are you doing? We're looking for a coin. We're looking for rare coins like this. More of them would be perfect. That's an Olympic QTB. Ooh, Bungle Collects TV sets. <laughs> he probably does. He probably would do. I wonder what he would do with them when they start arriving, though. But why? Why do anything? It's a hobby. It's fun. Urban treasure hunting. I'm not crazy. I'm limited edition. Is the poll still available? It is. You can still get your votes in. Expensive hobby. A little bit. A little bit. But if you get them for face value, you can always cash them in. It's all good. Tale of Peter Rabbit. Very common. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. Ooh, breakfast 50p's. Use TV tops as plant pots. <laughs> That's a good idea. Ooh, hurry up. I need to spend the year 2000 penny. <laughs> I'll go as quick as I can because I'm running over into bungle time as well. 
in my defense. Ooh, 2008, Britannia. That's a keeper. Second one. I will eagleize Christopher here. Can a famous coin tuber reply to me, please? There's a couple in the chat, to be fair. I'm sure they will, James Woodley. Ooh, keeper. <laughs> oh, dear. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I blame you entirely for that. Nothing in that bag. Your eyes are so fast. How's everyone? Fan Dabby Dozy, thank you. I hope you are well as well. We've got rest. Blah, 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 blah. Representation of the People Act, fairly common. My best finds since I started collecting are my new family. Love you all. And my comment, making subscribing friends. Well, thank you very much for your super chat, Mr. B. Hoy. He's one of a kind, is Mr. B. Hoy. Could you imagine two of him? Holy Toledo. You would never get a word in edgewise, edgewise with two of him. I'm sorry, not, says Bravo. <laughs> Did you say that you would keep doing this every week? Yeah, I've been doing it every week for a long, long time. Are you not a Twitch affiliate? I have no idea how that all works, I'm afraid. Um, there was a thing that you needed to do to get the something on the Twitch, but I only stream once a week. So I was never going to qualify. It's one all, the equaliser. Is it the Woodward one? There we go. Are you going to do the ooing every week? I don't know. It depends. It depends. We might do. We might do. If chat reminds me, I'm sure we will do. More pepperonis. Pepperonis the second. I'm not that talkative. I'm just Scottish. Love your outfit. Thank you very much, Ludicrous. Mr. B-Hoy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. We have got dictionary there. Very common. I don't think we need that. Have we had any ooh, new coins yet? I don't think we have. I think we've already got boxing. I think boxing's already in the book. In the book? The book? Box? Book? Oh, wait. There we go. Have you been to Paddington Zoo before? No. I'll stop tuning in if we ooh each week, <laughs> says Edward Evans. <laughs> dear, <we> dear. <laughs> Maybe we just need to start mooing. We need to start mooing. Is mooing it going to bring us the good luck? Oh, there we go. Bring us some luck. It's 2-1, Cathedral. Wonderful stuff. A good start for Cathedral, but they're one, ahead, one behind now. There's a tower at the end. Not quite. It was a, it was, there was a Paddington, but it was a Cathedral. Say, so, ah, new coin. Not, ooh, new coin. No. <laughs> What do your hands smell like? Um, hands that have been touching coins. Uh, this is Victoria Cross, the medals, very common. Uh, 2017 Shield, that's a keeper. Nothing else in that bag. Boo, boo. <laughs> Oh dear, everyone moving in chat. Thank you very, very much. That's brought, that is that has tickled me somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Terence Day thinks that a duck and Flopsy are coming up. That would be great. That would be amazing. What are we looking for? We are looking for commemorative coins like these. You can't really see them because they're not in focus, but that's the best find so far. Olympic boxing. That was a good find. More Olympics, please. And after we've done this bag, we're heading on over to Bungle Collects Coins for the Late Late Coin Show. I think we should move on. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Do you like history? History's all right. It's not my specialist subject. Benjamin Bunny, Benjamin Binny, Rodney Rabbit. Oh, there we go. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. 6-0. 3-1. Amazing. Let's go guiding. Fairly common. <laughs> Master Temple's booing now. <laughs> it's fine. Master Temple, there is still time to join the winning team. There is still time. Not sure if I'm ready for After Dark Bungle. We love Bungle. Oops. Come on, a couple more cathedrals. Really, really to rub it in. Doomed. <laughs> We have about five bags left, and then we're heading over to Bungle. I'm sure Bungle is ready and waiting. Find the secret message in the following. In the following what? In the following what? there does anyone else in your family collect coins uh, my dad kind of collects coins he buys the annual sets he doesn't really hunt for them people subscribe to unbelievable coins she only needs four to hit a hundred oh great i'm sure someone will post a link to unbelievable coins youtube channel i'm sure there are four people that can get amber up to 100 subscribers for sure do it for the ooze <laughs> Victoria Cross, the medals. That's a nice quality one, actually. Not too bad. What was that? 2014, that's okay. Possibly a silly question, but how do I know if a Q-Guns 50p I own is circulated or uncirculated one uh, there, there isn't a way to tell obviously a, an uncirculated one would be pristine condition but if it's then been in circulation you found it it could look like it's circulated so it's very difficult to tell if someone was selling a loose uh q guns claiming for it to be uncirculated or a bunk i would be skeptical Ah, dropped them everywhere. Right, you three, you get back in there. I should have picked up all the all the cathedrals again. Doubled up the the cathedral score. If I was a dishonest coin cheaper, I would have. Uh, other people act. Oh, we've got a Paddington. Come on, there, there we go. Four one, four. Oh no, oh no, it's a this tower. Ah, three two. Uh oh, it's getting close now. I didn't look at that one close enough. I'm conscious I'm cutting into bungle time now. Three, two. Oh dear. One more for the draw. 
One more for the draw. Are you collecting rare coins because they're worth more because you like different designs? I, co I collect coins for the love of coins. I don't sell them. I've got no interest in doing it. This is not an investment. This is purely a hobby. Right, we're on to the last bag. So as ever, a massive thank you to everyone that's tuned in, whether you've watched from the start, whether you've dropped in for a few minutes, whether you're watching catch up with your catch up. Um, I'll be over on my Discord voice chat after the stream. I need to grab something to eat though. Holy Toledo, I need to eat something. Beatrix Potter, the anniversary. And we are all heading on over after I've announced the winner of the redesign. Heading on over to Bungle Collects Coins. We'll leave, we will leave links to his stream if he is live, I'm not sure. I'm sure Lady Emma Bungle will post a link in a moment. But uh, was boxing new for the book? New for the book. New coin. Mm. Nope, we've already got that one. That is fine, we've had some exceptional luck. Star find from this bag is that uh, uh, boxing. But star find for the hunt, for me, it's got to be the double-headed... 10p 2000 2002 2000 2002 2000 2002 2000 2002 very very cool right then shall we see who won the redesign everyone's asking you to check the girl guiding check it for what it's slightly off center it's slightly off center I can tell you it's got a slightly thicker rim there than here. But it's only slightly. Only slightly. If I kept coin every coin that was slightly off centre, I'd have no coins left. There we go. Right, we're gonna see who won. Who has won? In fifth place. Well we need to go over to the over to the WhatsApp. In fifth place. One, two, three, four, five, with six votes, is number one, which is Rabbit by Unbelievable Coins. In joint fourth place, we have number 11, which was Rupert Grint, submitted by... I've got too many windows open. Oh, I could just close the one I wanted. Oh, that's my camera. <laughs> Good going. Good going. How do I get back to the... L-M-N-O-P-Q-R... Rupert Grimp was submitted by Stacey Lou. Uh, also joint one, two, three, joint fourth place is number three, which was R for Rainbow. R for Rainbow was submitted by TTV Shadows. So what well on on uh, getting in the top five? Uh, what number is that? Number three, which means in third place we have number five. Which is Robin Reliance, Robin the uh, Only Fools and Horses car. Which is Denise. So big well done to Denise for that. In second place, we have number eight, which is Rupert the Bear. Submitted by Adam. So well done to Adam on second place. Which means in first place, for the whole of the stream to be fair, is the Royal Mail. Which came in from Hunting for Coins. So big well done to Hunting for Coins on taking the victory by how many points did you win uh eight eight points in it so a big well done to you for your win um we are going over to bungle collects coins uh let me see if i can get a link if you can head on over to bungles collects coins stream and if you can leave a comment ooh bungle i want to see all those ooh bungles I'm just getting the link now. Copy link. Now I need to get back to my stream. I'm sure Amber will post the link over there. Head on over and leave a comment. Ooh, bungle. But as ever, I've had a fantastic time. Those of you who are still on Twitch, Minty OSRS, The Coin Collector, Groucher, Bravo, The 8-Bit Bear, uh, Ollie Singh, uh, Mark a Day, uh, Jonathan Solo, Brett Perk, Unbelievable Coins, Just Linz, um, Harry's Nan, Unbelievable Coins. Thank you very much. Over on YouTube, we have Lady M, uh, Archie McCartan, uh, Robert Roberts, Coins and More UK, James Woodley, Angel Wings, John Saunders, Darren Cheshire, Eurocoin Roll Hunting, 
Mackenzie, Robert Roberts, Master Temple's Treasures, Archie McCartan, um, Macam Mula, uh, Kurt, Mackenzie, Stephen Keeley Coins, Caledonian Coins, John Saunders, Cheryl M, uh, Coins and More UK, Grootie Coin Hunts, uh, Denise Haynes, Wendy Fletcher, Nick Thomas, and Neve as well. Um, Snap Dragon, Katie Jones Coins, Bow Selectors Coins, Lynn Mills, Lois, Lewis Lois Gamer, Marty, Chalky Garden, uh, laughter, Master Temple's Treasures, A Coin Collector's Journey, Edward Evans, uh, Jonathan Saunders. Head on over to Bungle's, do, uh, Bungle's live stream. Leave him in a ooh bungle, ooh bungle. I'm gonna post it once more, and then we're calling it a night. So as ever, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. I can't go. It's not working. Bye. <laughs>